Hey guys, it's Joy, and welcome to Girls Month. So I really hope this is in focus. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, I don't have my contacts in, and I didn't want to wear my glasses because there's a glare on them, and it just wasn't working. So I really hope I'm in focus. Anyways, this week on Girls Month is like school, back to school week. So I'm going to be doing the do's and don'ts of high school because I was a freshman last year. So I kind of, I'm not saying I know everything, but like, you know, I've been there. I've got some experience and I'm here to tell you guys. For one, do make friends. Like, usually if you're not new or anything, so if you already have your friends, um, you're like, okay, I don't need to make any new friends, you know, I just have my group of friends, but quite the opposite, you should make a lot more friends because it's just cool meeting new people and since I was new, making new friends was a little tough, but making new friends makes school a little bit more bearable, so um, and just in case you have a falling out with one of your friends or something, or like, you always have more friends. Like, I'm not saying it's like you have to have a lot of friends, I'm just saying like, it's cool to meet new people and make new friends, you know, get out of your comfort zone, get out of your little group, it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> Don't stay up late. Now, I know a lot of people like, stay up till like, 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, and then like, go to school the next day, and I, I can't do that, I mean, if you can do that, and still function and wake up and like do really well in school you go ahead and do that but I suggest not doing that I'm not saying like go to sleep at like 9 p.m. or something like usually I would sleep like 10 11 which is kind of early for a lot of people and it's early for me like I'm being honest like I usually I would sleep super late in the summertime and everything like that but I don't know I would I just especially if there's like a test the next day or something I would definitely suggest sleeping early because it can really like help you because if you sleep super late if you're like up studying or even if you're not up studying if you just stay up super late like past midnight it can be really hard to function the next day no matter how much coffee you drink and everything so I would just say don't stay up late. Number two, do join clubs. Now for me um, I'm in theater so I met most and a lot of my friends doing that um, at first I didn't really have that many friends until I joined theater and did a lot of plays and stuff and that's honestly how I made a lot of my friends and it really does like help a lot like especially if you're new and you're like you think you're thinking like oh I can't make any friends because that's exactly what I was thinking like the first couple weeks um, I didn't have that many friends but then theater really helped to for me to make a lot of friends like I'm being completely honest like clubs I know you hear this all the time but clubs really help you make a lot of friends and people you have things in common with, it's easier to be friends. Don't be shy. Now, I've, I'm really shy, so like, <laughs> kind of being hypocritical here, but, um, so freshman year last year, I was super shy, and I barely talked to anyone, and I didn't really make a lot of friends that way, so, especially if you're new, or even if you're not new, and if you want to make new friends, don't be shy. Being shy will not help. Like, friends won't come to you. Well, I mean, sometimes they do, but like, if you want friends, you have to go out and get them. If you want something, you have to go out and get it. You can't be shy and too scared to do it. So, and this goes for any, everything and anything. Like, friends, boys, um, like, if auditioning or tryouts for sport or, like, I don't know, anything. Um, don't be shy because it's only going to hold you back. Three, do study hard. Um, for my high school, my high school is kind of tough. Um, I'm not saying it's like super tough, but um, for the classes I took, I don't know, it wasn't like super hard, but you, I definitely think you should study, but if you're the type of person that can like just guess on everything and like you're super lucky and you can get A's on everything without studying, I hate you, but if you're not, which most people are not, <laughs> um, I do definitely recommend studying no matter how much you hate it, I mean, no one likes studying, so, but studying can really help you in the long run, um, so if you do really 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 well your freshman year you don't have to try as hard I mean you still have to try hard but you don't have to try as hard to bring your GPA up the rest of the years <laughs> don't skip class I know you might think it's like super cool like oh I'm skipping class and everything but teachers won't really like honestly like teachers don't really care about you um in high school I know that can be kind of harsh but they don't really like if you miss something or if you skip class or something, they're not gonna give you the work. So if you keep skipping class over and over again, especially if it's multiple classes, you're really gonna get really behind. And um, 
Yeah, and if you don't, like, ask for the work or anything, like, you're going to get super behind and it's not going to be good at all. So, I definitely don't recommend skipping class. Or do get sleep. And I know I already said that with don't stay up late, but definitely do get sleep. And I don't mean in class, but definitely do get sleep. This kind of goes in hand in hand with my uh, don't stay up too late. But, like, sleep is one of, is, like, the most important thing if, like, you want to like succeed in school like let's be honest sleep is super important so if you don't get enough of it or if you like just i don't know if you just don't sleep or if you pull an all-nighter to like write an essay or something sleep is essential so definitely recommend sleeping i think that's pretty obvious <laughs> lastly don't not do your homework and people might think this is like kind of stupid like oh homework it doesn't really matter like it's just like a little percentage but i know in um a lot of classes, um, if your homework average is below a 70, you can't like retake a test or you can't like do anything to really bring your grade up. So definitely doing your homework and keeping that average super high can definitely make or break your grade. I mean, a lot of people with like super low grades but um, have like super high test grades, that's why they're like not doing well because their homework grades are super low so I know you might think like oh homework it doesn't really like matter that much um it doesn't do anything to my grade if you keep piling it on and on and on and not do any of your homework it can definitely like change your grade a whole lot so I hope you guys enjoyed this um do's and don'ts of high school hopefully you guys that are going into freshman year or if you already went into freshman year you can leave a comment down below and saying how it went because honestly mine wasn't that super great not gonna lie um but hopefully I was able to help you out I know Amelia is doing a freshman advice and I'm also doing one of those on my channel so if you guys want to check any of those out just like look forward to that because they're not even up yet but if you have any questions about freshman year or school or anything like that just leave them down below or you can go ask them on my Twitter or something. Maybe I can do like a school Q&A or I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys next Sunday. Bye!